Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean wheels and tires. So, this is probably, I don't know, one of the videos that's in the top five of requests from my viewers to show me, uh, to show you guys how I clean wheels. And the way that I'm going to show you is the way that I do it. It's not the only way to do it. Um, it's just the way that has worked well for me for the last 40 years. So the first thing is I always, always, always do the wheels last. Some people do them first, I do them last. And the reason is this. I use the same uh, wash water that I use on the car. So I don't want any chance of dirty wash water getting back on the car. Because when I'm done with my wash, I use the multiple mitt method, multiple mitt method with a single bucket, which in guarantees that I don't ever put dirt back on the car so that when I get ready to do the wheels, I've got clean water and I'll use my brushes and things in that water and the water's gonna get very filthy. Now, when I'm doing wheels, whether it's painted aluminum or brushed aluminum, whether it's chrome or whether it's painted steel, I'm gonna show you how to do all three of those today. Uh, I still do all of them last as far as washing the car, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the method that just works best for me. Now, I always clean the wheels every time I wash the car. Um, the, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I'm washing, uh, especially the Honda, one or two times a week minimum. I do have other cars that I'm doing to help speed up some of the videos. But in any event, the secret the number one secret that i would say to ease your wheel cleaning pain is to get the wheels completely clean and then i use adam's liquid paint sealant on the wheels on the honda uh, and on the chrome wheels that i'm going to show you and it makes cleaning them very very easy i don't use any harsh chemicals i don't use wheel acid i don't use uh, anything like that because it's not necessary. And the reason is because wheels are a very, very dirty environment. They have a lot of acidic uh, brake material that's on there. The wheels get a lot of road film. And to compound that, the wheels get very hot from braking and that bakes that stuff on. And if you don't get it off, you can etch, permanently etch or damage the wheel. So when I have the Adam's liquid paint sealant on there, it's very, very easy to come off and it, it doesn't completely prevent, if I didn't wash the wheels for months, maybe it would degrade the finish. I don't know, I've never pushed it that long, but it just makes it easier. So I'm gonna show you the main implements that I use and I'm gonna go ahead and sh do a demo for you. We're gonna do it first on the uh, Honda's wheels. They're pretty dirty and I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do. Okay, so basically these are the implements that I use. I've got my bucket of leftover soapy water. It's about a third full. I'm doing this when I shot the Griot's car wash review, but it could be any. Whatever soap that I'm using, whatever review that I'm using, you guys know that's what I clean the wheels with. Now I have this very long brush right here. This is a wheel well brush. It's... Um, um, and I'm going to have the link to all this stuff in the description. This stuff is phenomenal. This brush is phenomenal. It's kind of got a plastic, I think they call it a phenolic handle, uh, but it's very good. It's, it's not too stiff. It's not like a, a concrete brush, but it is stiff enough. You can clean the wheel wells and you can clean the face of the tire itself. This right here is what I clean the face of the wheel. This is a very very soft tire brush um, but this is I don't you can use this to do tires it's really not aggressive enough but this will absolutely not scratch your painted wheels at all okay this will not damage it but it will remove the brake dust and my my all-time favorite thing that's sitting here is this rat's tail right here I call it a raccoon's tail it's flexible okay if you want to bend it this works phenomenal this is very soft and your wheel is not clean until the backside and the front side is clean. And the reason that you want to clean the backside of the wheel, the, it's called the barrel of the wheel, is because that brake dust 
that sits on there in the road film, it gets baked on from the heat of the wheel. So this is very, very effective at removing that. It's got a tip right here that's rubberized so you're not going to scratch anything. This is all rubber coated. It's got a nice handle. And like I said, if you want to bend it to uh, get to whatever contours that fit your wheel, then it's uh, awesome to do. Now, if I'm using something, a chemical, that let's say I want to remove the tire and trim shine that somebody's put on a wheel, oftentimes I'll use Simple Green, okay? Um, this is very, I just use it straight. This is very gentle on the tire itself. I don't like spraying this on the wheel. Obviously, some of it's going to get on the wheel, but if you set your wheel up properly and clean them properly, you don't need this. Um, I do like to use all-purpose cleaner if I have it, but this is what I had on the shelf that was handy, and that's what I'm going to show you today that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up. Oh, one more thing. Um, I've got a, a wheel woolly right here that I also use, but I like this far better because this is more dense, so it's harder sometimes to get between the brake caliper and the wheel, whereas this has... Um, it's much more, it's much easier to get in tight places. Let's just put it that way. But I do use all four of these. So let me uh, show you guys exactly how I do this procedure. Okay, so if I'm going to be removing the sealant or the tire sealant that's been on there, maybe somebody put some of that nasty petroleum gel on there that slings everywhere. If I'm going to do that, then I will spray some of this on the tire itself trying not to really get it on the rims and i've got all my implements in here and i'll just use this brush and just scrub around just like that okay you can already see the color change how it's pulling this stuff off so while that's still on there i'll go ahead and take my wheel well brush and go ahead and work the soap up in the wheel well. Now keep in mind, I do this every week, so my wheel wells really are not gonna be very dirty. If you haven't done yours before, they're gonna be pretty dirty. Okay, so next, I will take my favorite brush here and I will go ahead and clean the face and contour the front contours of the wheel itself and i'll do this twice i'll go around then i'll go around again and as i said in the intro or earlier this brush is extremely soft it's not going to hurt this okay so next is the best part i take my rat's tail here a raccoon's tail and i'll go ahead and get back in the barrel itself now if you if you were to take my wheels off they would be pretty much cleaner than new ones and when i redo my adams paint sealant I redo it on the wheels as well. Okay. And then I go ahead and rinse it off. Okay, so I'm going to focus in a little closer. And that wheel is perfectly clean. The tire is perfectly clean. There's nothing on here whatsoever. A um, couple things that I've done. I've, I've gotten the 
everything clean, number one. I didn't hurt the paint sealant that's on here, number two. And I got the, um, any caustic material that from the, from the actual brake dust and road film that was on here off of the back or the barrel of the wheel so it's not going to etch it or damage it in any way. Okay, so that's how you do aluminum alloy, painted aluminum, brushed aluminum. This is actually partially brushed aluminum, partially painted. This inside's painted and this is clear coated. So next I'll show you how to do a chrome wheel. All right, so this is our typical chrome wheel. This thing is absolutely filthy, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna take the simple green, just spray it on the tire, get my fender and wheel well brush. Okay, clean the face with our very soft brush. Now you see how easily the brake dust comes off. Okay, I didn't use any harsh. I didn't even put simple green on the chrome. You could, but it's really not necessary. And then, here's where I'm gonna use the actual wheel woolly. This works a little better on this wheel than it does on the Honda. Now the problem with this wheel, which I'll show you in a minute, it has some etching on it. I'll try to use this. Depending on where the brake caliper is and how close your rotors are to your wheel, the clearance is de will determine whether this will actually get very far in there, which that's the caliper right there. See, that one goes in further. And you can take this and you can get a dedicated wheel lug brush if you want to. And we'll go ahead and rinse this off now. All right, so after the wheel is rinsed, I'm gonna show you guys what etching looks like on a chrome wheel. Let me get that in focus. Okay, that right there is actually where the brake dust had sat for quite a period of time and had etched in there and eaten away at the chrome. Obviously before I got the truck, but you can use some chrome polish on that and minimize that a little bit. Um, but that's why it's very important to keep your wheels clean. All right, you need to keep them clean. Wash them every time you do your car. And next, I'm going to show you how to clean a stamped steel wheel. All right, so here's our stamped steel wheel. This is just a regular painted wheel. And here is where you can use your simple green if you wish on the wheel and on the tire face and again we're going to take our heavy brush our wheel well brush and get the tire then we will going to get some more soap on here and I'm just going to use this same brush. Now on a stamped steel wheel I like a little bit stiffer brush than what I normally use. You're not going to hurt this wheel whatsoever. It is painted but this wheel normally has a hubcap on it and you would clean the hubcap just as you would the other two wheels that I showed you before. Um, obviously you would go ahead and do the uh, the wheel wells just as you would on any car so you can kind of see that the procedure for these types of wheels are pretty much the same and the reason they're the same is because I'm not using any harsh chemicals 
There are some chemicals, like let's say purple powder, where I wouldn't dare put on an aluminum wheel because it can etch it, it can corrode it. Um, if you have magnesium wheels, if you've got an old muscle car, have magnesium or uh, wheels that have very strange alloys in them, then you have to be very careful what you're putting on it. But this is just uh, Adam's red car soap. It is absolutely not going to hurt this wheel whatsoever. You don't have to be worried that it will etch or do anything weird to your wheel. Um, just keep in mind that if you have a super, super, super dirty wheel, which I'm going to find one of those for, for you guys, that takes a little bit different approach. All right. That's when you've got to start digging out the chemicals and you have to start using chemistry. Because oftentimes, just getting out the simple green and the nice brushes and all that is just not going to clean baked on dirt and baked on uh, residue from your, from your brake pads. It's just not going to work. But 99% of the time, this is exactly how I clean wheels and tires. And then, if I'm in a hurry, I'll take my blower, as I've showed you guys how to dry in the how to dry a car video. I'll blow them dry, and then I'll go ahead and treat the tires with dressing of whatever I'm going to use. And uh, that's about it, guys. It's not it's not hard. the The main thing that I can stress to you is the implements that you use the brush for the wheel well the raccoons brush I love that the wheel woolly and also the regular tire brush you know sometimes with chrome you'll have to pull out some additional um, you can even use some mild steel wool if it's really corroded and then, of course, the Simple Green, if you're going to use it. You can use all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to have some tests that we're going to do later on some different products, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how I did um, wheels and tires, how I clean them. So, guys, I hope, this was, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have a different method, if you have different implements that you use, if you have a favorite chemical that you like to use for your wheel and tire maintenance wash and I would encourage you to post that below so that uh, we can all learn from that and I will talk to you guys on the next video.